The purpose of this mini lecture is twofold. First, to give you a link to about a dozen or so additional resources developed by third parties which give you more information about identifying parts of a computer, more information on SRAM, DRAM, okay, why computers use 0 and 1, the booting process of the computer and so on. But most importantly, I wanted to give you a little tips on how you should learn effectively using the internet because we are all in the digital age or the internet age. If you look at the generation of mine or your parents, we only had books at that particular time. All right. As a consequence of only having books and teachers, it was extremely hard to locate any information we required specially. I remember a very memorable incident when I was doing my secondary engineering. I wanted to find out how to understand the working of the oscilloscope. Also to understand the meanings of what all the oscilloscope displays. I could not find a single book in my library to have satisfy my curiosity. But today you just type in a word or two words and you will get fantastic text and video lectures explaining the concept of oscilloscope and how it is to be used in your practical hall. There are advantages and disadvantages to both the situations. Whereas we had an information shortage, you are in an ocean of information. If you are not careful, you will very soon drown in the ocean of knowledge because you will not have the right skills to select what information you need to look at and what to ignore. Everything looks interesting on the internet, especially when you sit alone. But if you are studying, there are very few resources which are actually useful and relevant. Most of them are just of no use or no consequence to you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about what are the effective skills or certain skills you will need to effectively develop good learning habits in this internet age. Now the first most important task is in order to be an effective learner in the age of this internet, you have to first make an effort to understand the concepts very clearly. A lot of time you don't understand a topic because you are not having complete knowledge of all the concepts required to understand that given topic. That means what you should do is you create a concept map of your entire chapter. And once you create a concept map, you will know that there is a linkage between one concept to the other. For example, I can't teach you multiplication before you have understood addition. That's a simple example of a prerequisite concept because multiplication is what? A different way of doing addition. All right. So you have to make effort to dig in the prerequisite concept for that topic which is required for you to understand the given topic. For example, I can't teach you the spelling of words if you do not know the English alphabets A, B, C. So A, B, C is your prerequisite. Now in the prior age, teaching or knowledge was restricted in books, teachers and colleges and universities. But now information source or the major source of information is Google and your YouTube. You need to choose wisely and with skills as to what information is required to be studied. Learning now depends more on your self-motivation, especially in this COVID lockdown. Those who are motivated will find themselves ahead in life. Those who say, okay, I'm just going to wait for the vaccine to come. Vaccine will come, but still you will have been left behind years together. So there is no excuse to stay behind. Make an effort, show some passion, learn new things, develop knowledge, develop mastery. Don't focus only on marks. Marks are just like a license. It is the mastery of the subject which gives you a confidence. I'll give you a simple example. Suppose I give you a license that you can shoot down a wild animal if it tries to attack you in the night. The license is meant to just give you an authority that you can kill the animal for safety of other people. Now when the wild animal comes, you cannot show the tiger or the lion, hey, see the license. You better run away from me, otherwise I'm going to kill you. That fellow will still eat you. So you have to understand that fundamental difference. Now learning has changed very much. It comes from multiple sources. It comes from web, it comes from YouTube, it comes from friends, it comes from unknown people whom you have not seen. Okay, so you should know effectively how to choose and read. The way I would go is generally if the concept is clear in one video, I should not look for more than one video other than that. If the concept is not clear, 
look for one or two related videos look for one or two text links on google and try to understand sometimes quora helps me a lot if i ask search for answers on quora because somebody else has already asked it and since there are multiple answers or different views to the same question i understand the topic better so i would suggest go to quora and look at things youtube sometimes comments are excellent although a lot of times they are rubbish but some of the comments are excellent all right and develop that skills how to filter information from the web and learn the right stuff now i have noticed a trend over the last 3 4 years especially or maybe even i would say 6 7 years students almost 99 out of 100 or 98 out of 100 prefer videos over text but i will just give you a slightly different perspective videos are great but if you want complete clarity please do not ignore reading your textbook or the text content on google or quora or things because they will give you additional clarity because generally videos are made with one focus in mind they cannot go everywhere unless like, uh, like a textual content so try to read text or textual content on the web this i have already told you in some way but i'll try to emphasize it develop or make a passion or make a focus for mastery of a subject don't focus on marks your 11th 12th and our competitive exam culture in india has spoiled the system so badly we are more focused on getting through the competitive exam than trying to learn or develop mastery once we get to the competitive exam your 11th 12th is almost got no relation in engineering you are almost starting from zero here so forget if you were the topper you had got 101 out of 100 doesn't really matter here start with a fresh look here make an effort to develop mastery of the subject because this is real learning this is going to make a real impact in your life and this is going to change your life for the better one of the major problems with education in india is we learn by heart or try to remember things without understanding please avoid this habit because why will a company hire somebody who just remembers things because information is already available in a textbook or a google why would they want a walking talking google at a more expensive price they can al always use the web to do that particular research now this is something i would like to just emphasize a bit you have asked me a number of questions in the comments most of the questions 99.99% are excellent questions okay but some of the questions one or two here and there are very basic which you could have easily found answers by googling so first when you get a doubt don't jump to ask questions in the comments do a little bit homework that will increase your understanding of the subject and then the question you ask also will be more intelligent don't fall to the trap of simply typing in something all right please make an effort to find out some more information about that look at related text related video and only if you're not clear then ask because then by then you will have learned to ask a more intelligent question my job here is to teach you how to catch fish not to feed you fish because if i feed you fish i can do it one or two days if i teach you to catch fish you will fish for a life and again when you join companies it's a very valuable skill when you encounter problems you can't ask me or everybody the information is already there develop that habit of trying to develop problem solving skills using the internet this comes by a lot of practice and lot of searching in searching you have to experience to how to filter information how to link information and make sense out of it and the whole purpose for developing this video was to provide you additional resources developed by authors of other channels this is not compulsory that you go into it but people who are from all the circuit branches including mechanical with the exception of civil i would say please make an effort to read or look at those videos they are beautiful videos developed by external people fantastic content you will understand the working of memory better you will understand the working of sram better you will understand the different parts of the computer better you will actually see the internals of a computer okay and some of the videos give you information which i cannot give in a small course like this some of them will tell you when you start the computer what all things happen although i am going to cover that but you can still take a look at it in advance so when i am teaching you you will have a much more effective learning of that so with this i'd like to say goodbye to you in the next uh, uh, two or three videos this first unit will be completed after that we'll head to something called as programming logic